I'm off again. I'm off to Bunnings. It is Monday, uh, 8.43, and I don't actually know the date. <laughs> Wait. It's the 8th of March. So I'm on my way to Bunnings and I'm going to get some wood to make a pallet, a sleeve pallet. Like I said, I got a few orders in and this one's come through and it wants a front and back design, which I've done. I've already done the design, which was on some uh, hooded hoodies, some jumpers, some t-shirts and some tank tops. So I got the tank tops and the t-shirts done. They're all uh, ready, done. There was 34 of them. And I think I've got another 30 plus of long sleeve sh shirts and hoodies and things that I need to do the sleeve design on. I didn't record all that stuff, but I did want to record the process of, you know, going about just making shit happen. What am I looking for? I'm looking for wood that has decent thickness, also, wood that is going to stay flat. Now, I also want to think about heat because the um, platen itself is going to get a little bit of heat in it. Not too much because I'm going to be using the heat gun on this. So I'm going to drive in there and I'm going to get it. And you and I are going to make ourselves a sleeve platonge. We're going to make it. It's going to happen. And we're going to see what happens. It could be an absolute miserable failure or something that is used into the foreseeable future of my business. Yes. Well, here I am again. Bunnings, my favourite place. I'm going to go and find myself some wood. Where am I? Alarms. Go find myself some wood. And then we're gonna build ourselves a sleeve platen. Oh yes, sleeve platen. Now I don't know what the best type of wood would be, but it has to be around hmm, 150 wide. 150, I think, would be the best. 150 wide. That's 140 mil. 140 mil is not that bad, actually. But 150 would be better. 150, 150. Nope, they're all too small, too small. Bar out. That's it. It only goes to 140 and then it goes up to 190. Why is it like that? Um, 90. 90, 90, 90. You know. That's 140, but it's quite thick. One, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Of course, that's the way. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to check my design and see if 140 is going to be good enough, because then I won't even have to cut it. Let's see. The design I need it for will handle 140. There it is. One forty nineteen by one point two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round off the edge so it's a nice clean smooth. Yeah, that should be fine. One point two an arm. Yeah. An arm doesn't go one point two meters. <laughs> Some sandpaper, 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 sandpaper. But I've got P400 and P240 just to round off those edges. I've got the screws there. I'll just use the same bracket, which will be fine. Same bracket, wood, round off the edges. Now I need to buy some planks for my girlfriend. I love a bit of pot. Well, I did it again. I went in there for a piece of wood and some things. And I bought another table for my shed. I do that.
that every time. Every time I go in there, I find something that would make... So please don't say that to me. Like, I go in there every time and I find something extra, you know? I don't know if you're going to be able to see the actual table. There it is. <laughs> it, it just fits in my car. Why'd you do this to me, Bunnings? Why do you always do this to me? You know? Stop making, stop putting things there. You know? Here I am, going in simply just to buy a couple of things, and then I come out with a table. But, off I go home. I'm actually really excited to see how this turns out, you know? I'm really excited to see how the little uh, sleeve platen turns out. I'd be really happy to get it done, you know, sort it out and then say, hey, look, I can do sleeves now. It's just another thing in the arsenal, you know? It's just having th there and saying, oh, can you do sleeves? Yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can do sleeves, you know? I can do that. That would be great, you know. And then later on in the future, if I end when I actually start making my own clothes for my own brand, you know, then I can start offering people sleeves. And they can go, oh wow, those look really good. And I'll say, thanks. I thought so myself. That's why I'm selling them. <laughs> but just the long journey home. I am going to continue to listen to some podcasts, motivational business talk, and then I should be home, and next time you see me, I'll be in my shed. I'll be in my shed trying to get these things organised, get this sleeve platen organised. It's 10 mil uh, less in width than I wanted, but that may play in my favour. We'll just have to see how it goes. This will be the first time you and I are going to see me doing sleeves for the first time. Which is pretty, pretty crazy. Cool, there's a horse meat on. Anyway, horse meat. So I am going to leave it there and then the next time you see me, I'll be in the shed. I'm back and here I am back in the shed. I've done a little bit of cleaning so far. I've gotten some of my stuff out of the way and rectified which is good I've uh, cleaned it up a lot more than what I did have and I've taken my piece of wood onto my table that I bought and then I put my wood on there and then I have put my sleeve on to see how long I'm probably going to need it you know I'm probably going to cut it off about here and then I'm actually going to mount it up onto my uh, onto my press and then I'm going to round off the edges to make that uh, sliding on the actual sleeve a lot smoother and less catchy with those pointy edges so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So I've currently got my actual sleeve on there as reference and then I have put my bracket and then I'm just going to give it a little bit more, you know, a little bit more space just on there, you know what I mean? I can give that as much as I want really, but at least that fits my bracket, it fits my sleeve and I'm sorted. What I'm going to do now is then I might just give it a little bit more space and then I'm going to cut this thing cut it off and then mount it onto my press. So I've got my thing, I'm just gonna hit it with my square, hit it across there uh, like so, bada bing, bada boomski. And then I'm gonna hit it with my saw. One thing I haven't done is I haven't, I, I did have a saw somewhere, but it's lost. So I'm actually gonna have to go full on bush rustic Lopper off, but I do have some sandpaper which will make it look pretty nice. So I'm not worried about what it looks like, I just want to make sure that I've got something so I can do this job. Let's go! <laughs> Thank you.
there she be. Not too bad at all. It's nice length. It's going to be great for my design. And the uh, actual, I was very glad that the uh, actual bracket fits on there perfectly. Look at that. Just the slightest bit, like just the slightest bit either side. So I'm going to go through and then I'm going to mount this now. So hopefully what I'm going to do is just put these little screws in here. Just those six screws that I removed from the um, the other platen. I'm sorry, I'm really snotty. I've been cleaning all morning and the dust. Oh, goodness gracious. So I'm going to move my bucket of water. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm done, when I finish the job with water-based stuff, I usually... Rather than clean it up really quickly, I just chuck it into some water like that. And I know, I know, but then it stops it from solidifying and causing any issues. So I'm going to mount up this bracket and we're going to see what it looks like. Come up all right, man. It's come up pretty good. I have noticed that my design, you know, is actually I'm actually gonna have to shorten the uh, the actual platen. Just I'm gonna have to shorten the platen just because the design sets. You know, I wanted to sit right in the middle so that when I put it on there, I can see how long. I'll just let me just go through it. I'll show you. First one I want to do is I'm actually just going to give it a nice smooth, I've got some, the 240 there, I'm just going to soften up those edges. And I'm just going to hit it with the 400. gonna have the the wood amount is fantastic because I can feel that the whole the design has the perfect amount on it now all I need to do is take off that amount and then I'll be able to place my shirt sleeve exactly where I want it which will be fantastic and it'll work great so I'll get on to cutting that and then I'll start smoothing out that, I'll start rounding off that area so that I can locate the sleeve cuff in that sort of dip and then I can have a rough idea of where I want my actual sleeve to be. As you can see, the, the actual length is fantastic for the sleeve. It comes all the way up and then it's actually, you can see where it's rounding off. So I've nearly got the full arm in there, you know. If only I could go further back, which I might be able to do. I might actually, hmm, if I can raise the, I might not have to do anything. If I can push that forward, I might be able to leave it the way it is. No, I'll just cut it off. I'll just cut it off. Probably about three, four fingers, and that should be perfect. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with to measure the center line 
of both ends of the wood. The thing is, it doesn't matter if you mount the bracket onto the wood right. It doesn't matter. When you measure both sides of the wood, you grab the centre of both of them and then you meet the top half with the, the other half right down the centre. And then when you line your actual image up using registration marks, you've lined it up on there anyway. You know, so it doesn't really matter if you put it on there and you can also alter the, the, the actual alignment using the actual, you know, these two bolts here. So they actually move the wood, you know, so it doesn't really matter if when you mount the bracket, hey, it doesn't really matter. As long as we're getting the job done and we get it done looking good. So I'm going to get the centre line and then I'm going to set it up. I'll probably put down some adhesive, put down some pallet tape and then put down some more adhesive. And I think I might be very close to having my first shot at a sleeve design. Good. Contact set, design on there, platen tape on there. I've just, you know, let me just go up just a little bit more. Hey, what's what are you doing down here? <laughs> Don't mind the mistake. I'm sorry. I'm so snotty. Goodness gracious. Something like that. And then we'll give it a shot, see how it goes, see how it turns out, and hey! Bada bing, bada boom. I love it. Good. Now, I'm just going to tape this little bad boy up, and then I'm going to see how I go. I'm going to have a little test print. And I'll see how it go. Start the process, and I got to get myself some uh, ink ready. I gotta get my ink ready, so I'm just gonna plop myself some uh, cardboard down, and then I'm gonna get myself some ink. Oh shit, I've got lots of ink. So I'm gonna get my ink ready. Is this gonna be enough? Oh, hey, how's it going? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my, you can just, maybe on my tits. So I'm going to get my ink ready. Oh my goodness, look at the lighting. So I'm going to get my ink ready. You know how it is. Nice, you want to get this stuff feeling fine, dabby, dozy. Don't know if that's copyrighted, but you want to get it feeling absolutely silky. I just really want to give it some elbow grease. Get it, mm, work it, you know what I mean? Oh, that, you know, that it's just, it's all in the foreplay. That's what it is. It's all in the foreplay. E, getting it ready. Just, oh, then once it's ready to go, it's ready to go. You know? Just that little bit of time beforehand, just to get the motor running, get everything all loosey goosey and juiced up. And this is what it comes down to. Just putting in the effort. Your jaws sore, your your wrists are sore, but then it's all good because then you get to have the good part, smooth, clean operations with your ink. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. Yes. 
Oh, that's the money. That's the money. Is that a thumbnail? Oops, a daisies. It's just gone over the side of the thing. Is that a thumbnail? <laughs> right, cool. So I'm gonna get this onto the screen also, and then we're gonna start getting. See, that's why I usually wear gloves for this part. Then we're gonna start. Oh, this seems really strange, but I can't flipping believe. See, sleeves, sleeves, crest logo, and it's also got a back logo on there as well. I can't believe I am doing sleeve designs. I can't believe it. Did I think I would ever be at this point building my own platens, printing onto sleeves, there is no way. I can't. I'm just taking a moment right now just to be like, holy moly. You know? I will have to go through and cure these with the heat press because I really do like getting the heat press on there. Putting a little bit of a parchment paper on there and it smooths out that design. It really gives it a nice sort of silky feeling. It gets rid of that plastisol feeling that you sort of get a little bit rough if you don't have that soft hand in it. I will have to try soft hand and see if that will bring down that sort of rough feeling, but I can't believe it, man. Like, <laughs> when I bought myself a platen or piece of wood, turned it into a sleeve platen, you know how much money I've saved just by doing that? And now, you can do it as well. You can do it, there's no excuses. Just, let me get on. I've gotten through a, a quite a majority of my sleeve designs. Look at that. It's just one thing after the other. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I've done about... Actually, I don't know how many I've done. One, two, three. So there's 18 hoodies, jumpers, and long sleeve shirts there. And I also have two different ones here. I've actually got a pink and black. And then I have a black long sleeve but with pink writing down the side. So what I have to do is I have to clean the screen, put some pink on there, then clean the screen and put the black on there. Again, a tip, if you're gonna be doing multiple colors on the one uh, screen, I suggest that you start with the white and work down until it's black because it's, uh, once you put the black through there, it might start actually messing around with the colors. So making it a little bit darker, at least if it's white, you know, it might lighten it up a little bit, but that won't be too bad. I thought someone was knocking at my door then. You, <laughs> I was a bit confused. I've got a door there and a door there and I thought maybe my partner might have come to the door, but hey, no. So I'm going to get on to this design, cleaning it, putting the pink on, then doing the black. Yes, though the actual little the sleeve plan held up really well. Really, really well. I'm liking it, though I have started to notice that when I've done this with the wood, the actual tape doesn't really like to hold on to these types of wood. I don't know if there's too much in it. And then what I do is I put down the water-based, you know, adhesive just to hold it down there, you know, just a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it all ready. So let's just clean this bugger up and let's see how it goes. <laughs> Hey!
just a little bit of white mixed in with some red until I got it to a nice consistency and a nice colour and it came up really nice and it looks really good on the black as well. So. That's the pink done. Now to do the black. So what I'm actually gonna do, I've only got one hoodie to do, and I've got ink. Ink. I'm actually just gonna put tape straight over the top of it. Hey, that's not dodgy. No, it's not. I mean, I just don't wanna have to take it all off and waste all that tape and really scrub and scrub. I just don't wanna do that. Hey, it's not lazy. You're calling me lazy and dodgy now. I don't like it. But one time, then all I need to do is this one hoodie. You know, and that'll be fine. It doesn't need to be absolutely spotless perfect. What all I need to do is just put a zip a dip a dip a tape, zip a dip a dip a tape, and then she's all good to go. Think that that's smart rather than doing it all. See, the pink was fine with the white because the white is just gonna come out and make it a little bit lighter, and that's not a bad thing. You know, you need a considerable amount of ink, you know, to start really breaking down that. And patches it's not that bad but if you had black on there it will just show straight through you know what I mean and now that I've got white and pink on there the black of our pink on there of our white on there it's just gonna show straight through that black so I'm gonna tape it up and then I'm gonna get on to this and get it done you're gonna watch me it's super fast you know I'm not actually speeding up these intervals of me doing things that's just how fast I work long sleeve shirts and about 38 t-shirts and tank tops we've got 68 in total so with the front design the back design on the tanks and tops and then front and back and sleeve design on the sleeves custom custom we went out to the shops. We did we got ourselves a piece of wood and we made a platen. No need to go to fancy retailers. No 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 no. All we need to do is go to your local hardware and buy yourself some wood. And I am not a carpenter. I tell you that 100%. You watched me cut this thing with a tree lopper for the love of, you know. It just shows you. Oh, I'm so happy. That was fantastic. That went so well. No stuff ups, no issues. And now I have my own platen for printing sleeves. And you do too. You now have the framework to do sleeves. Don't let, you know, these fifty hundred dollar uh, platens hold you back. I can't remember, twelve dollars was the wood, I think. Twelve dollars for a platen. And the tree lopper, I, I don't know, maybe you've got a better thing to use. You know, you could probably put it on a step and break it better than what I've done. And a little bit of sandpaper, you know, just to round off those edges to give it that, you know, more professional look. Well, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learnt something, and I hope to see you again. I love you. I appreciate you. Every time you watch. I don't just say it. I do. I appreciate it. And 
think it's time to go inside and have some time with the family. <laughs> Ciao.